everybody. Welcome into First Take. It is draft day. I'm fired up. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam with you. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Molly. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? It's draft day. Let's get to it. Yes. Let's get it on. Yes, Let's yes. Let's go. All right. We begin with the quarterbacks. Jared Goff and Carson Wentz are expected to be the first two picks in tonight's NFL draft. Todd McShay released his last big board, and he has Carson Wentz and Goff, the 10th and 11th ranked players. Skip, how concerned should the Rams and Eagles be using the top picks on these two QBs? In order, Rams and Eagles, mm -hmm. I would right now be having second thoughts, third thoughts, fourth thoughts, and 44 thoughts. Stephen A. Smith. You know, I have been covering NFL drafts for a long, long time. In all my years, I have never, ever seen anything like this combined. These are the two biggest, craziest gambles I have ever seen on two quarterbacks who, dare I say, are not, can't miss, right? right. I mean, w w we all have our questions about both of them. Todd McShay has big questions about both of them. 10th and 11th? Are you kidding me? So, Stephen A., I ask you, go back through your mental files. Are we talking about a John Elway here at the top of the draft? No. No. Nope. Peyton Manning? Nope. No. Nope. Heck, are we even talking about Eli Manning at the top? Nope. I thought Eli would be very good to maybe even great, and he's somewhere in between Sir, that. We, hey, hey, Skip, yeah. we're not even talking about RG3 at number two. Wow. Now we're that's, not even talking that's that? That's a mouthful from you. I was going to keep going through Troy Aikman and Carson yeah. Palmer. And we're not talk, even talking Andrew RG3. Love. Heck, I'll, I'm, how about Donovan McNabb? How about Michael Vick? Are we talking about Michael Vick no. here? Because I knew Michael Vick was going to be really, really good, maybe even great, just a little undersized. But, but for a while, Michael, Michael Vick was great. Are we even talking about Jameis or Mariota? Are we? No. What, what are you doing, Rams? What, what are you doing, Eagles? Because let's think about this. Todd McShay is saying nine players in this draft are more valuable, will be projected more valuable than either of these two quarterbacks. Not only that. But Todd McShay is saying that Carson Wentz is slightly better, in his view, than Jared Goff. So if I'm the Rams, I'm thinking, uh-oh, Todd McShay is saying that, that I'm taking the worse of the two overrated quarterbacks. I'm not even taking the better of the two overrated. I'm taking the worse of the two overrated quarterbacks. Are you kidding me? Now, for the record, Mel Kuyper has Goff going five, or fifth rated overall, not going five, just on his big board, and wins seventh, so he has it flipped. But still, he doesn't have them one, two, Mel Kuyper. And by the way, for the record, look at the records of Todd McShay and obviously the great Mel Kuyper. They do speak for themselves. So these guys know yes. what they're doing. Todd McShay, 10th and 11th. Whoa! So I ask you, what, what is going on here? Uh, just for the record, for me, I've told you this before, I, I slightly favor Jared Goff, just slightly over Carson Wentz. I, I agree with I, that. I, I'm not, I agree can't with that. miss on either one of them. The, the one thing I do like about Jared Goff, and you can scoff at me if you like, his father played big league baseball for a little while, and that always counts with me if your father was a star in, in any sport. It rubs off on the kid. The kid has, has sort of a self-confidence that you can't teach. You sort of inherit it. But anyway, that's the only reason I give him a small edge. But here's what's going on. Obviously, the new Rams, the now Hollywood Rams, need to make a splash as they're going back to L.A. But what a gamble of a splash this is. Because it'll be a splash tonight, Jared Goff will, we assume. But will he be a splash next year and the next year and the next? I don't know. I'm not saying he's going to be a bust. I just don't know that he's a sure shot star. Then on the other side, we got the Eagles taking a guy from North Dakota State. And I'm thinking, Stephen A., this is just my two cents from a distance. It sounds like they fell in love with the great kid that is Carson Wentz, who wowed lots of NFL scouts and execs with his interviews and his private workouts or his combine workout in shorts and t-shirt. Really? So we have a Jared Goff who went 14 and 23 over three years as the Cal starter. 14 and 23. You can say, oh, the teams didn't have a... 
14 and 23 is not great. And in their turning right. point game of last year, as we've talked about, when they were 5-0, and oh, he went to Utah and threw five interceptions. And they lost four in a row. I, I know the schedule was tough. I'm saying, John Elway, I don't think so. I'm saying the two biggest risks I have ever seen to plunge and trade up to the top of the draft. And I say, good luck to you, Rams, and good luck to you, Eagles. <sighs> We're supposed to start off this show actually debating and disagreeing, and I wish you had said one thing, just one thing that I disagreed with. I knew you were listening. I can't find it. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I can't find it. Um, I don't disagree with anything that you said. The fact of the matter, is, Skip, is this: when you look at the Los Angeles, let's dissect the two. I'll go number two and then number one first. All right. Let's go to number two. I have to defer somewhat. Or, or, or give the Philadelphia Eagles somewhat of a pass here in this regard. Spoke to my man Sal Palantonio yesterday. He came on my, uh, on yep. my radio show as a guest. And we all love and respect uh, Sal Palantonio. We sure do. And, and, and he's the man. He's the man. And here's the deal. Sal Palantonio said that the Philadelphia Eagles were sold on Carson Wentz. He said there was no doubt in their mind. They fully anticipated and expected Jared Goff to go number one, so the Philadelphia Eagles have had their eyes on Wentz, which is why they moved up. Skip, I don't have a problem with you as much, although I've got a question mark about the level of competition that this man went against. The reality is, is you knew what he went against. You interviewed him. You gave him private workouts. You did what it is that you need to do. You're supposed to be an expert. This is your profession. Okay, fine, because when you moved up, you moved up with that target in mind, without a doubt in your mind. This is who you wanted to get. Fair enough, okay? Now, we look at the Los Angeles Rams. Entirely different scenario, Skip, because you have a guy in Jeff Fisher that's missed the playoffs 15 of the 21 <laughs> years he's been in the NFL. We recognize that he's building a team. You've got a good offensive line. You've got a stud at the running back spot in Ty Gurley. You've got some receivers, particularly in Tavon Austin. You've got a stout defense you with do. some studs on the defensive side of the ball. So the, 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 the nucleus of your squad seems to be seems to have elevated in the Jeff Fisher era. We can't completely eradicate credit from him. We've got to give him something in that regard. But when you don't have a quarterback, there's so much that you could possibly do. Now, I'm looking at a guy like Jeff Fisher, and I'm saying to myself, but this is also the guy, as much as we want to criticize Sam Bradford, you're going to trade him for Nick Foles? Really? That's what you decide to do? Him and Les need? That's a question mark right there. Then when you made the pick, we also have to consider, Skip, that when they moved up 14 slots to grab the number one overall pick, they didn't know who they wanted to grab. Is it going to be Jerry Goff? Is it going to be Carson Wentz? We don't know. We're going back and forth. We can't make up our mind, et cetera, et cetera. When you combine that with the fact that both individuals are question marks at the quarterback spot as it pertains to their cash and their ability to be a franchise caliber quarterback. Now we have cause to pause and reason for concerns. As far as I'm concerned, the number one and the number two overall picks in the draft ain't even the winners. The winners to me are the Tennessee Titans who have six picks in the first 76 picks of this draft. Yeah, that to me would be the winner, the Tennessee Titans, who gave up the number one overall pick, moved down to 15. The other team that won would be the Cleveland Browns, who's gotten a bevy of picks because they were willing to allow the Eagles to trade up and they traded down to position themselves to get a bevy of players because obviously they need to build a roster as opposed to getting a franchise caliber quarterback. And by the way, we don't know if either of these guys are going to be a franchise caliber quarterback. So to me, it just seems to be, in the case of the Philadelphia Eagles, Again, I believe they've got some faith in Wentz. In the case of the Los Angeles Rams, I think they were trying to make a splash. Uh, speaking of Bill Plaschke, also on my radio show the other day, for the, the voice of L.A., for the L.A. Times, longtime columnist, he said there's no way that Los Angeles is going to tolerate the nonsense that Jeff Fisher has been giving the city of St. had given the city of St. Louis over the previous four years. Nobody's going for that nonsense. They expect you to do your job and to do it well. They expect you to be committed to winning. They expect you to make a splash. And you had damn well better get this right. Because whether it's the Lakers or the Clippers or the Kings or USC football or UCLA or beyond, it's Los Angeles. It's La La. It's the palm trees. It's the weather. Skip Bayless. 
there's a whole bunch of stuff to do there than go to Los Angeles Rams games mm. when you know they're not going to win. And that's where they're looking at Jeff Fisher right now. So I look at it from that perspective. The Eagles, I'm not that hard against. The Los Angeles Rams had damn well better get it right. As you know, I once covered the former Los Angeles Rams. And trust right. me, patience in short supply in those stands. Too much no else question. to do, too many, too many other places to get to, and they just don't sit still for very long if you don't win. Right. So, God bless, good luck. Back to the Eagles you spoke of. I keep yep. hearing that Doug Peterson, Frank Reich, John Filippo, or quarterback makers, quarterback whispers, that they can take Carson Wentz and slowly but surely mold a very coachable kid into a yep. franchise star. Okay, I hear all that. But if, if they are that good at quarterback making, I ask you this question. If you had stayed at the eighth spot in the draft and saved all the draft ammo that you had to trade to go up to two, hey, why not go ahead? If, if you're that good of quarterback makers, what about Paxton Lynch or Connor Cook? How about my guy Cardale? How about Cardale Jones? What, what if I handed any of those three quarterbacks well, Christian well, Hackenberg. I, I give you Christian well, you know, Hackenberg. Uh, 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 right? uh, Christian Hackenberg, who had a very good freshman year at Penn State before okay. all the troubles came right. down, by the way. Right. But here's the deal. Yeah. The question, Skip, the question, Skip, is this. Isn't that their way of saying there's a huge discrepancy between golf and Wentz compared to the others? Because that would be the only excuse. <laughs> well... That's what they're saying, but I don't see it, yeah. personally. I don't see it either. I, I, I think I you can throw them all in a hat and mix it up and reach in and pull one out. And I think they all have a chance to be, be okay, maybe be pretty good. Yeah. But I'm not yep. sure about any of them. And you know how dicey it is picking quarterbacks in the first round, especially the higher you go. And here's my other big point. When you pick these kids this high, one and two, the expectations, as you know, just go through the roofs of these cities, and it heaps pressure on the shoulders of kids who can't live up to it. They're not built for this because they've never been through it. Goff got a little bit of exposure at Cal, but not like this. Well, and obviously, North Dakota State, good luck with that. Right. But, but Stephen A., the pressure of expectation will be enormous on both of them because they were picked well, so sorry. high. But not, but not just because they were picked so high, Skip. Look where they're going. Los Angeles, okay, which has other distractions if yeah. you don't produce. I got it. And the city of Philadelphia, yeah. who's ready yeah. to beat, who's ready to beat you up if yep, you don't produce. Right. I mean, They're ready to beat you up. <laughs> so, okay. oh my lord. So, I mean, it's not like you're going. It's not like you're going to some peaceful, tranquil okay. place, Jacksonville, nope. just an hour from Orlando or something like that. Nope. You're talking about L.A. or Philly. Okay. One or the other. So, allow me to close this with Todd McShay's description of his big board he's he's got it ranked in tiers there's a tier one tier two and tier three this year he has no tier one players those are absolute elite perennial pro bowl players in this draft he's got zero in tier two that's that's just worthy of a top 20 pick he has x players but my point is without going into to gory detail both the quarterbacks these two are in tier three really that means wow. take them later in the first round, like late first round picks mm -hmm. in, in, a, in sort of an average type draft. In most drafts, they should be late first round picks. Really? And yeah. you just trade That's it up farm to get on them? them yeah. Okay. You know, it's also, get it. also crazy to add to that point. Only once in, in the draft history has there been quarterbacks going one and two, and that was Mario and Winston. So this is just the <laughs> second time ever. So that goes to both of your points yeah. there.